Hello and welcome to another episode of CNM's Herb Walks. We're out here once again in the beautiful Sussex countryside and we've come to see what's available, what's around us at this time of year. And remember the whole point of a herb walk is to get to know the plants that we can use medicinally, where they grow, how they grow, through the seasons as well. And one of the things we're going to be having a look at today is the way things are actually changing through the seasons. It's now almost high summer, it's midsummer in fact, and we're going to find for example a lot of the flowers are now turning into berries and we're going to be discussing the different parts of the plants that we can use as they come in season as well uh, and do remember that you know it's getting out there the whole joy of a herb walk is not just doing it once but just keeping on going out there whenever you can observing getting to know the plants looking at how they develop and change through the seasons and kind of you know getting to know the whole natural world as opposed to you know just kind of having it served up if you like in pills or on a plate or wherever uh, this is real stuff this is real herbal medicine in the making here so let's get out and see what we can find so here we are lucky to find elder. Although I say that, but there's so much of this about at the moment. The interesting thing about this particular uh, plant here is because we have both flower and the beginnings of berries as well. So we've got the plant basically in two stages of development here. Now this is a plant that is absolutely steeped in history, folklore and even magic. Its, its Latin name, Sambucus, is, is thought to come from a musical instrument, either a harp or, opinions differ, it might be actually a wind instrument as well. The flexibility and the ease of hollowing out the elder uh, make it a, a good sounding wood for musical instruments. But the name elder itself comes from the Anglo-Saxon eld or eldron, meaning eld meaning fire and eldron meaning uh, furnace. And although it was actually thought very ill-advised to burn the elder itself, these hollowed out stalks of elder or twigs or branches of elder were used actually to blow on fires to get them aflame. Now, it was thought that there was a spirit or a goddess living in the elder um, that would have, has the power either to hurt or protect. And uh, your approach to the elder would make the difference as to which this was. You were supposed to approach the elder with a particular invocation if you wanted to use her wood or any part of her for medicinal or protective purposes. And the invocation went like this. You had to bow your head and say, Lady Elrun, Give me of thy wood, and I will give thee of mine when I become a tree. Now, the elder gives us so much medicinally. It's chiefly known uh, in herbal medicine as what we call a diaphoretic herb, which means that it helps to promote perspiration. And it does this particularly effectively um, at moments when you might be just coming down with a cold or the flu or something like that. So any febrile condition to kind of help it bring on the fever, break the fever and uh, cool down uh, the whole system. But in addition to that, elder actually has some very substantial antiviral properties as well. And they are contained in all parts of the plant. So the flower here, um, and as we know, of course, elder is a, uh, is, a, is a very popular ingredient for cordials and soft drinks and also alcoholic beverages, elderflower wine. And it has this wonderful aromatic scent, which as the flowers go off will sl turn slightly fetid actually, but this one's really nice, really sweet at the moment. You'll recognise the smell if you go up to one of these and, um, and uh, put it close to your nose. And then of course when the flowers die off after they've been pollinated uh, and they mature, they turn into these little tiny green berries here, which of course in the fullness of time, in a couple of months time, will start turning purple. They'll expand and turn purple, very rich with antioxidants and again with these antiviral properties. So the antiviral properties properties are contained both in the flower and the berry, but some herbalists believe that the antiviral properties of the leaves are actually stronger, about five times stronger than either flowers or berries. 
Um, you do have to treat the leaves properly. The flowers uh, you can use pretty much as they are. They're probably, you know, you can use them fresh actually. Berries you should take a little bit of care of because they can actually have sometimes unpredictable reactions. They can cause what we call catharsis, which means that you might be looking for a toilet rather quickly if you take too much of it. However, a small amount of elderberry syrup every day uh, throughout the winter can actually help you to keep quite nicely protected from the winter snuffles. So many of, many of you might be familiar with elder's role to help our immune systems, to help us through colds and flu and that sort of thing as an antiviral and, uh, and a general immune assistance. But what many of you may not know is that this plant can also help with mending fractures, broken bones. And that uh, is particularly a function of the leaves, the small stems and the bark of the tree. And if you boil that up, maybe about four ounces of that material, boil it up in a quart of water, reduce it down to about a pint, divide it into three doses and take that three times a day uh, for a couple of weeks or so, you can actually really uh, powerfully speed up the healing of broken bones. I've done it myself when I broke my ankle um, a few years ago and it wasn't healing too well. I was probably challenging it too much and walking around on it too much. Um, but I, I actually learned this tip halfway through trying to heal my ankle. I immediately started using the elder. It was in the autumn, so I was very lucky to catch the last of the leaves there. But I have to say that it worked an absolute treat. In about two weeks, uh, that healing was almost complete. <laughs>